Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Okay? And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. Excellent. And then let's go back down low. Touch our toes. Next, back up high again. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And when we're there, give a wave. Excellent. And then back down to touch your toes. Stand up, hands on hips, and let's have a wiggle. Stop. Another wiggle. Stop, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, stop. And now let's go round and round, round and round, round and round, and stop. And next we'll go back the other way, round and round, round and round, and stop. And we'll finish with 10 claps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So who can remember what type of words we learned about in the last English lesson? Perfect, guys. We learned about nouns, okay? Nouns. N O U N S. Nouns. Can anybody remember what type of words are nouns? Nouns are names of things. Okay? So whenever you see the name of something, it's a noun. So we can say nouns are names 
of things. T H I N G S. Nouns. Names of things. Chair. Teacher. Cup. Classroom. School. These are all names of things. So these types of words are nouns. Yes. And in the last lesson, we learned about a certain type of noun you've already said. Countable nouns. Yes. Countable. C O U N T A B L E. Countable nouns. Yes, remember, if there's only one of something, we call it singular. One pen. Singular. But then, if we have more than one, two, three, five hundred, five million, it doesn't matter how many, as long as it's two or more, we call it plural. Yes. Singular. One. Always one. Plural is more than one. However many. You can have two pens or you can have 500 pens. And what do we do when it's plural, guys? What do we add to the end of words? S. S. Excellent. But for now, we're going to concentrate on singular. So what does singular mean? One. Exactly. Well done. So we'll write one here. And in our last lesson, we learned about two different words we use before nouns. One word is one letter. Can anybody remember? A. A. Excellent. And what was the other word? Two letters. A. A. N. An. Okay. A. A. An. An. Or a. A. An. An. Does anybody remember what type of words do we use a or a with? Consonants. Excellent. Well remembered, guys. So I'll write that word in brackets. Consonants. C O N S O N A N T S. Consonants. How many consonants in the English alphabet? 21. Well done. So for 21 letters, when they're the first letter of a word, we use a. But then there's five other letters. Anybody remember what? A E I O U R. Vowels. And we use the word an with vowels. V O W E L S. And what are them letters again? A E I O U. A E I O U. Okay, guys? So, if any word which is a noun begins with one of these letters, A E I O U, we use an. But if a word begins with any other of the 21 letters that are consonants, what word do we use? A, a or A. Okay? So we could say a banana. a banana. But if we say, if it's an apple, apple begins with A. a. So we say an apple. E an egg. An egg. I an ice cream. O an, an octopus. And you an umbrella. An umbrella. umbrella, yes. Well done, guys. That was excellent. Well remembered.
And what we're going to do now, we're going to do a flashcards activity where we will practice how to use a or an and also the spellings of the fruits and vegetables from the last lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off the flashcards from the previous lesson or use the ones you had previously. And what we'll do now is we'll ask our students to close their eyes. First thing they must do is decide what fruit or vegetable they have and whether to use a or an. Place it on the correct side of the board and spell it correctly. Ready guys? Okay, let's begin. So let's see who can we go with this. Okay, open your eyes please guys. Who has the first flashcard? Lakau. Come and join me at the front. So first of all, show your friends your food. What is it? Orange. orange. Okay, what letter does orange begin with? O. o. So will we use a orange? No. No. An orange. Excellent. Lakau, can you spell orange for me? Spelled together, guys. O. Excellent. That's perfect. So we say an orange. An orange. An orange. Lakau, that was brilliant. Well done. High five. Round of applause for Lakau. <laughs> so let's see. Next flashcards. Who can we get? Let's see who's next. Okay, let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the flashcard? Chew. Excellent. Come forward and show your friends your flashcard. <laughs> Turn it round. The strawberries are upside down. <laughs> there we go. So what fruit is this? Strawberry. strawberry. What's the first letter of strawberry? S. S. So let's see. Not A-E-I-O-U. So we don't say an strawberry. We say... Ah, strawberry. And then, would you like to spell it? Okay, you can use black. So all together, guys, strawberry, S, S, T, R, A, W, B, E, R, R. Why? Excellent, Sue. That's perfect. And we say, you can turn around now. We say, a strawberry. A strawberry. Excellent. High five. Round of applause for Sue. Okay. Next flashcard. Let's. Oh yes, I need my pen back too. <laughs> So next flashcard, let's see. Open your eyes, guys. Who's next? Down. Come and join me at the front. So first of all, show your friends your fruit or vegetable. Pineapple. pineapple. What's the first letter of pineapple? P. 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 So what do we think, guys? A or an? A. A, because P isn't a vowel. So down, can we place it in the right column? Excellent. And then, can you spell your fruits? Would you like blue or black? Black. Black. Okay, so let's spell together, guys. Pineapple. P. I. N. E. A. P. P. L. E. Excellent, Sam. So now we can turn around and say together, a pineapple. Pineapple. A pineapple. pineapple. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Sam. <laughs> so now we need our next flashcard. Let's see who can be next. Okay, open our eyes, guys. 
who has the flashcard. Pat, come and join me at the front. Show your friends the flashcard. Apple. apple. So this time, not pineapple, just apple. What's the first letter of apple? E. What type of letter is A? M. Vowel. Vowel. So there we go. Shall we stick it in the and column? Excellent, Pat. And now, what colour would you like? Blue. Blue. Okay. Now can we help Pat to spell apple? A P P again L E Excellent Pat So we say An, an apple. apple Can you say an apple? an apple Excellent Pat High five Round of applause for Pat <laughs> Next one Let's see who's next Okay, open your eyes guys. Bang Bong, come and join me at the front. So let's see, what food do we have? Do we have fruit or vegetable? Carrots. Okay, carrots. First letter of carrot. C. A-E-I-O-U. No, no vowels, so not an. So that means it must be A or A. Carrot. Black. Black. Okay. So how do we spell carrot, guys? C A R R O T. Perfect. And we say a uh, carrot. Carrot. A carrot. Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Bang Bang. Let's see. Who's next? Open your eyes, please, guys. Who's next? Pak Bung. Come and show us your food. Do you have fruit or vegetable? Broccoli. Okay, first letter of broccoli. Let's see, just show it up higher. Broccoli. First letter, B. B. Okay, so where can we place broccoli? Will it go in an or a? Uh -huh. Excellent. It's not a vowel. B is a consonant. Black. Black. So how do we spell broccoli? B. R. O. C. O. L. L. I. And we can say, a broccoli. A broccoli. Perfect. Pak Bung, high five. Big rounds of applause. <laughs> okay, guys, let's open our eyes. Who has the flashcard? Net, come and join me at the front. Let's see, hold your flashcards up high so we can see. Potato. Potato. P, P. 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 Is P a vowel? No. No. So we don't write an potato. What? A potato. So Nick, can you put it in the right column? Excellent. And now you spell your words. Would you like blue, black? Okay. So potato, guys. P. P. O Perfect. Well done. So we say a potato. A potato. A potato. A potato. Net. Excellent. High five. Round of applause for Net. <laughs> Let's see who's next. Open your eyes, please, guys. Let's see. Okay. Prel, can you come and join me at the front? 
Let's see, what do we have? Holds it up high. Cucumber. Okay, cucumber. First letter of cucumber is C. C. So what do we think? An or a? Uh. A. Ah. A ah. cucumber. Uh, cucumber. What colour would you like? Black. Black. So how do we spell cucumber, guys? C. C U. C. C U. M. B. E. Ah, oh, perfect. If you run out of space, you can write below. Oh, just about made it. <laughs> so we say, a uh, cucumber. Excellent. Can we say, Pro? A uh, cucumber. High five. Rounds of applause. And now, who's next? Who hasn't been yet? Okay. Open your eyes, please, guys. Nadia, come and join me at the front. Let's see, what food does Nadia have? Banana. Can we see? Banana. Okay, banana. What do we think? An, ah. Ah, because b is a consonant. So can we place it? Anywhere you can find the space, that's excellent. Nadia, what colour would you like? Banana. Black. Okay, so banana. B. B N. A. N. A. Banana. That's it. Excellent, Nadia. So we can say. A, a banana. banana perfect a banana. a banana high five round of applause for Nadia <laughs> so guys all together ready we've got our two groups on the board now a potato a, potato. a carrot a, carrot. a strawberry a cucumber. A cucumber. A pineapple. A pineapple. A broccoli. A broccoli. A banana. A banana. Excellent. All of the first letters are consonants. consonants. And now for our vowels. An orange. An orange. An apple. An apple. And we have some more too. We have. Let's see if we have some more. We have any more vowels? No more vowels. Okay, we'll just say these two again. An orange. An orange. An apple. An apple. And our five vowel words are A, E, I, O, U. That was perfect, guys. Well done. Round of applause. <laughs> Welcome back to class. So now we're going to move on a small step further because what we're going to do is we're going to look how to describe when we have some of these objects. We have how many guys? One. One. So we can either say one or a or an. Okay, so we'll practice the sentence to say when we have something and the words we use I, I have. And then we can either say, I have, I have one, one potato. potato. Or we can replace the words one with a. We can say, I have a potato. Understand, guys? I have. One, one carrot. carrot or I have, I have a carrot. carrot and for vowel words we can say I have one orange or we can say I have an orange I have one apple 
I have an apple. So for this speaking drill, teacher will say the number, okay? I want students to replace the number with the word. So are you ready? I have one potato. I have one carrot. I have one strawberry. Excellent guys. I have one cucumber. I have one pineapple. Excellent. I have one broccoli. I have one banana. I have a banana. Perfect. And for vowel words, I have one orange. I have one apple. Perfect. We just replace the words one or the number one with the words a or an, depending on if they are consonant words or vowel words. Excellent guys, well done. <laughs> and now it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by walking on the spot. Stop. Walking on the spot. Stop. Walking on the spot. Walking on the spot. Jogging on the spot. Stop. Turn left. Turn left again. Turn left. And left. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, jogging on the spot. Stop. Jogging on the stop. Jogging on the spot. Quickly. Stop. Turn right. Turn right again. Turn right again. And right. Hello. Hello. And to finish, we will do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Welcome back to class. So now we're going to move on. So far, we've been looking at countable nouns. And we can count them and use the words a or an. But what about things that we can't count? What do we call them? Any ideas? We call them uncountable nouns. Yes, we will put the word uncountable nouns. These are nouns or words that don't fit with a or an. And now I'm going to demonstrate because what I've brought to class today is I have brought some coffee. coffee. Yes, when we talk about coffee, we don't say I have a coffee or I have an coffee because we have lots of it. So guys, you can pass that around the room, have a look and see the coffee. If you can pass it around and see that there is lots of coffee beans. You can see. You can see we don't just have one of them or two or three. We have lots of coffee beans. You see? Does it smell nice? Smell like coffee? Yes. Okay. Thank you. So what do you think, guys? If we can't use the words a coffee or an coffee, coffee is what we call uncountable noun. If we can't use the word a if we can't use the word an, does anybody have any ideas what word we can use? 
A coffee? No. An coffee? No. Anyone have any ideas? Let's see. It's a four letter word beginning with S. We say some. some. Yes, with uncountable nouns, we use the word some. some. Remember before, I have a banana. I have an apple. I have an apple. But we don't say I have a coffee. I have an coffee. We say I have some coffee. When we talk about uncountable nouns, we need to use the word some. Understand guys? Okay, so now we have some more uncountable nouns for us to practice. Does anybody know what this is? Can you see on the picture what this is? Do you know bread? Bread. bread. We can't say a ah, bread. We can't say an bread. What word do we use? Some. We say I have, I have some, some bread. bread. How do we spell bread? B, B R, R E A D. I have, have some bread. bread. You understand? With nouns, especially foodstuffs that are uncountable. We can't use a or an. We have to use the word some. some. I have some bread. Okay, picture number two. Something we might eat of a morning. Cereal. A cereal? No. An cereal? We say some cereal. Cereal, C E R E A L. I have some cereal. Excellent. Who knows what this is? Pasta. Spaghetti is the right too. This is how we make spaghetti. But before it becomes spaghetti, it is pasta. pasta. A pasta? No. An pasta? No. Some pasta. Some pasta. How do we spell pasta? S C A. I have. Some pasta. Some pasta. Excellent. Next picture. Meat. Meat. Ah, meat. No. And meat. No. We say. I have some meat. I have some meat. Okay. So how do we spell meat? M E. A T. Excellent, guys. One more picture now. Does anybody know what this is? Beans. Beans. These are a type of bean. What do we say? Do we say our beans? No. Do we say an beans? No. What do we say? And how do we spell beans? B E A N S. I have some meat. I have some bread. I have some cereal. I have some pasta. 
I have some beans. I have some beans. Or I have some coffee. The words that we use with uncountable nouns is some. Excellent guys, well done. And now it's time for our worksheet activity. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off a worksheet for each of your students. What our students need to do is they need to look at the various foodstuffs and they need to decide what word to use with each food. A, an, or some. Remember guys, if the first letter of the word is a consonant, we use a. If the first letter of the word is a vowel, an. But if the food is uncountable, like beans, coffee, we use the word some. So our students need to write the words of the foods in the correct column. Okay, guys? But what's the first thing to do? Perfect. Give our students around 15 minutes to complete this activity and just monitor the class. So Nadia, for you. You're welcome. Down. You're welcome. Ned, for you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bang Thank you, You're welcome. Lakau, you are welcome. Chu, you, you're welcome. Pak Bung, you're welcome. So, first food, beans. Beans, we use some. So we write beans in the some column. Cucumber, cucumber, letter C. Ah, ah, cucumber, because C is not a vowel. Okay. Yes, that's right. Beans will go into the sum column net because it's an uncountable noun. If you need any ideas or have any questions, let me know, guys. Cucumber, what's the first letter of cucumber? C. So we say, ah, cucumber. C is a vowel. A C is a consonant. And cucumber is a countable noun. So remember the vowel letters A, E, I, O, U. So for orange, we could say an orange. Okay, red, remember what we say about uncountable now? Some. We say some bread. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to arrange the various foods into the rec correct columns depending on a an or some so all together guys are we ready a cucumber a, cucumber. a, carrot. a carrot a broccoli a, broccoli. a, pear. a pear a potato a, potato. a grapes a, a banana, a banana. An, apple. an apple an orange an onion. An onion. Some beans. Some, beans. Some, pasta. Some pasta. Some bread. Some, bread. Some, meat. Some meat. Some cereal. Some cereal. The final column, some, we use with uncountable nouns. That was great, guys. Excellent. And that's the end of today's lesson. So we hope you found it interesting, learned something, and had some fun too. So we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. Can we all turn to wave and say goodbye? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon.